Today, we're in the herd with men's basketball. The Bison and hundreds of their fans crammed into the campus theater in downtown Lewisburg on Sunday evening to watch the NCAA tournament selection show. Of course, prior to the madness surrounding the tournament selection show, the coaches and team had a quiet meal together on campus, contemplating their seating and where they will be sent. After some agonizing moments, the Bucknell name appeared opposite of the Butler Bulldogs. And they are the Coach Dave Balson says the atmosphere at the campus theater was electric. It was really, really special night. You know, uh, I got to thank the people at the campus theater and, and Tim Pavlechko, who, who just does so many logistics, like beyond, over and above and beyond the call of duty, uh, to set this up. And it's just really neat for our players to see this kind of reception and this kind of excitement, but also neat for our fans to be able to share in it with our guys. You know, it's, it's a real great sense of family. He says his 11th seeded team will have the daunting task of taking on the six seeded Butler Bulldogs and their highly regarded head coach Brad Stevens. University of Florida runs a coaching round table for a couple days in August every year and and uh, uh, Coach Stevens and I have been down there the last three years and um, you know I've gotten to know him a little bit and uh, just hold him in the highest regard uh, as a person and then obviously as a basketball coach. He also says that it's great to have two teams match up, which do it the right way. Two mid-majors, you know, two two schools. We like to think that do it right, you know, with, with real scholar athletes. Um, you know, not a lot of bells and whistles, I think, in either one of our programs. A lot of meat and potatoes and, and just, you know, play good defense, take good shots, be unselfish, and uh, worry about the team more than the individual. Of course, this year's seniors comprise the winningest class in Bucknell men's basketball history, and one of those, Mike Mascala, is hopeful that their experience in the NCAAs two years ago will pay big dividends. Now that we know who our matchup is, I think we can kind of focus a little more and get those jitters out of the way, hopefully, uh, and look forward to traveling out there on Tuesday. Joe Wilman says the Bison would have been a well-known opponent no matter which team they would have drawn in the tournament. You know, Mike is one of the best big men in the country. People know about him. Teams know he's on our team, and they, they know that he's trouble. So, you know, it, it just gets our name out there a little bit more. So I think no matter who we were going to get um, matched up against, they were going to be ready for us. Local product Colin Claybon thinks the game site, Lexington, Kentucky, may allow his folks to drive to what should be a great contest. I think we got a, got a great seat. It was nice to see the com committee had some respect for us. And... Uh, Hopefully uh, America will see us playing at least in the next weekend, so it should be fun. And Mascala, well, he says he had one big criteria in terms of site selection. Yeah, I was, I'm was. i sure it's pretty warm there right now. I was just hoping for somewhere <laughs> warm, to be honest with you. Uh, I was kind of hoping for San Jose or Austin. But, hey, I've never been to Light Center. I heard it's a great spot. So I know we're all just excited to get on the plane and travel as a team. We've been down this road before, so uh, I can't wait to get started. For ticket information as well as tip time between Buckdale and Butler, just keep it glued to BucknellBison.com.